Sagittarius, your overall energy right now, journey and magician in the mirror. Uh, I feel like you are manifesting right now, uh, trying to go on some kind of a journey or experiment or see things, travel, um, time for a change, uh, maybe be adventurous, spontaneous, kind of tap into that energy a little bit. Uh, your person has patience, strategy, and door to value. Okay. <laughs> All right. Underlying energy, the sun, and the world. Okay. I feel like, yeah, there could be travel involved or a vacation or just going on some kind of a journey. All right. A change, something different. Um, your person here, patient, strategy. So they could be strategizing on maybe a plan on how to come towards you. Um, I feel like this person sees your value, sees your worth. Um, they could be a high value person as well. Um, I'm seeing a lot of ones, a lot of ones for you here. Um, and threes and twos. I feel like there's progress being made here, um, Sagittarius. They could be... We'll get into it. We'll get into it. I, I feel like they're strategizing and, and trying to remain patient here for something in divine timing. Um, but let's get into it. All right. For Sagittarius's person, what is their current situation that's coming towards them? Who is this? Tell me about them. Four of Cups, the Devil, Magician, Walking Away, Eight of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Fool. They could be leaving a situation or turning their back on a situation here that was toxic, manipulative, um, maybe keeping them stuck or something to do with finances and money. All right, so keep that in mind. There could be something with them with finances and money, okay? But I feel like they're either in the middle of or just walked away from something not healthy, something toxic, but... They are turning their back on it here. Um, I feel like they're really following their intuition. We have the Fool, Aries energy, and High Priestess, which is Pisces, Scorpionic energy. Very intuitive, all right? So they're listening. They're, they're listening to the guidance. I feel like they know what they have to do, and they're about to take a leap of faith in a new direction. I feel like that direction is you. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? What is this person's intentions? We have Capricorn energy, Gemini energy here as well. What are this person's intentions? Seven of Cups. Okay, Two of Cups. So they don't want any confusion. That's why they're strategizing. They want to have an action plan. They, I feel like they know what they want and they want to go after it. Um could be you. All right. The soulmate energy. All right. What else? Intentions. Intentions. This person's on a mission to find their soulmate. I feel like it's you. Whew, sad. Good energy. Good, good energy. All right. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. They're single. They are. They, they are probably getting out or their intention is to be completely single. I feel like they are very independent. Um, I feel like they hold their own, they make their own money, have a job. <laughs> There's stability here and, and they're independent. All right. The wounded warrior, they could be um, somebody in the military. Um, I feel like they're, they fight for what they want. They're a go-getter here. I, I'm getting that. They definitely go after what they want. It could be another fire sign. doesn't have to be. Um, Seven of Wands, very protective too. Not in a crazy way protective. Like they protect what they have, you know? They're a protector. They take care of it. They, they cherish it. They, they value what they have. So their house, their car, you know, they, they put value on that stuff and take care of it. So a relationship, that's how they would treat the relationship. Wow, this is really good energy. All right, let's see. Injustice. So they're fair, balanced. 
Um, I feel like there would be equal give and take. I feel like this person, they could, they could be a Libra. They want just, they want fairness, they want equal, all right? So if you want somebody who is just going to do everything for you and you don't have to do anything, this may not be your person, but I feel like they are an equal give and take type of person. They're not going to expect you to do everything and, you know, it's good energy. It's really good energy. All right, let's see here. Um... What are blockages right now between you and this person? What are blockages between you and this person? Sagittarius, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, somebody's cold and cut off right now. Or just cut off and cut out things that no longer serve them, which that came up in their energy. They're walking away from something toxic. So that could be what that is. The sun happiness. You guys may not have met this person yet. Blockages here, blockages. All right, yeah, you may not have uh, met them because they're still doing a, a healing phase here, which is good. I feel like they don't want to bring baggage from what they just left into this connection. They are single, but they're healing. That's great. That's really good. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. What else? Tell me. Tell me more. Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Very slow moving. And Six of Pentacles. That's that equal give and take reciprocity. So right now, this person may not be able to give what they want to give. Yeah, they're, they're, still, they're still healing. Sag, all right. So let's see if we can, how will Sagittarius meet this person? Unless you already know them, put this to the side. But how could they possibly meet here? Okay, it could be through... Um, Doing research, some kind of communication, some kind of creativity or an idea. Uh, could be online. Yeah, Page of Swords. Could be online. I feel like you might meet this person online. The Chariot. Could be while you're driving, at a gas station, at a store. out on a boat with friends, something like that. So it could be like through a friend of a friend, uh, could be online, or it could be during some kind of travel, vacation, movement, something like that. All right, uh, let's see, what is the outcome for Sagittarius and this person? What is the potential outcome? King of Pentacles, Death, Scorpionic, Queen of Cups. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Three of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles is my favorite card. Uh, that is manifesting, taking thoughts, visions, dreams, uh, goal setting, all of that. Anything in the 5D and turning it into the 3D, turning it into reality, making it happen, getting on the same page as, as your person or whatever, and moving forward and building towards the same future, okay? I feel like this person is going to fight for this. This is going to make you really happy. This is going to make you really, really happy. Distance might be a factor, though, here. You guys could live at a distance for some of you. Um, I feel like this per person is emotionally stable. I feel like they are balanced, and I do feel like this could lead to long-term commitment, loyalty, marriage, family, kids, if that's where you're at. But long-term, loyalty, stability, abundance, fertility, all of that. This is about to change your, your whole life, your whole love life, the way you look at love, feel about love, being treated. This person's intentions are 
good. And they're doing the right steps. They were in something toxic. They released that. And now they're doing the healing work that, that people need to do that don't before they jump into something. This person is just about ready. So if you if you've already met this this person, this is resonating, you you may meet this person soon. I'm going to pull numbers and stuff so that might give me give me more of an idea. All right, let's see what's the biggest obstacle between you and this person's edge. Biggest obstacle. Existence meeting this person. Having everything line up so you cross paths with this person, getting their attention, them getting your attention, having a conversation, being noticed. I mean, the universe can align us with somebody, and if we're not paying attention, we could walk right on by. But the beautiful thing about the universe is if it's meant for you, it'll come back around, you know. All right, let's see. Consciousness and rebirth. So, yeah overcoming this big change. Not everybody likes change. Sometimes it's uncomfortable. This is going to be a big, big change. You're not going to be used to this energy. It's it's good. It's pure. You know, it's genuine and consciousness. This could be a true soulmate uh, connection here. Follow your intuition. All right. Follow your gut feeling on this. All right. What else do we have for Sag? What else? This is amazing. This is amazing. Material world, uh, money, career, status, third dimension, make your mark. This person could be well off, just saying. Uh, receive, open-minded, abundant, ready. It's your time to receive. Karmic partner, conventional relationship, uh, duty, bound by societal conventions. This person is closing out a karmic cycle, a karmic lesson. They've learned their lesson. You also could be too. Again, feel free to flip-flop and reverse the energies here as you see fit. And loss, loss of self and identity. Discover your true self again. This person is definitely doing that. The reflecting, the healing, all of that. You might be too. You both could have been leaving something, okay? Toxic, not good. All right, what else do we have for Sagittarius? Peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. I'm telling you, this person, all the good qualities came out with them. Commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. Yup, commitment. Get ready for the commitment. All right. <laughs> Sag. I'm going to pull some letters here. It could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Um, if their first and last name have the same letter, double it because I only have one of each. <laughs> All right. So C, Z, L, W, A, P, M, O, U, Y, S, T, G, V. Wow. C Z L W M O A P U Y S T V and G. All right. Numbers could be angel numbers, could be birthday, anniversary, the date you might meet this person, uh, days, months, weeks, years, could be an age. All right. Place it where you see fit. What do we got for Sagittarius? We have, oh, that was a six, I believe. Okay, so we have 1689. 1689. Uh, could be the first, sixth, eighth, or ninth of any month. Could be 16th, 18th, 19th. Um, we have 68, 69, 86, 81, 61, 98, 96, 91. You get that. Uh, January, uh, June, August, and September. All right, August, maybe? I don't know. September. All right, let's see. Zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their chart, or something could happen during that season, like Sagittarius season, for instance. All right. We have Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Could be any sign, you guys. I did have um, 
all earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Aries, Libra. Could be anyone. Could be anyone. Yeah, all the air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, all of them. Could be anyone. <laughs> all right, uh, Sag, that is what I have for you this month. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below if you'd like, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Sag, love and light. Take care.